Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Check out where I'm standing today. Check out where I'm standing today. We are upstate in the woods still. This is our campground, Adirondack Gateway, between Saratoga and Lake George. I'll give you a reference point. And this is the pond in the campground. Ah, oh, good morning, Kev. Ah, oh, there's Dawn. All right, all right. So yesterday was my birthday, and we had a fun day. We uh, made the rounds around uh, different sites. Ended up at uh, this uh, farm, Hicks, uh, Hicks Orchard, and uh, it's pretty cool. We did some blueberry picking, and uh, they actually have a uh, basically a winery. It's like cidery, um, where they make apple cider wine type stuff it really tasted like champagne it's kind of cool so we did a little tasting there and hung out uh got to do some four wheeling in the uh you know fields there because it was a muddy mess in the back but the kids got to pick blueberries and stuff like that uh we went around we got uh went to the creamery where we got our milk delivered from and uh saw the cows i'll put some pictures up and uh got some homemade ice cream and uh I checked out the sites. Obviously, I did my ride just yesterday morning. We did uh, just about 20 miles in the woods. It's probably the hardest ride of my life, um, up and down the hills. And uh, it was a little little life lesson in that. Um, as you're riding up the hills, it's hard. But if you keep pedaling and you get to the apex of the hill, um, it allows you to uh, coast down the other side. So... Uh, that kept me thinking that if uh, if you put in the work, you do the job, you learn what you need to learn. Get a better view in the background here. Um, if you do the work and you learn what you need to learn, um, things get easier. Um, if you ride up that hill and you keep pedaling and keep pedaling and keep pedaling, when you get to the top, you get to coast a little bit. It gets a little easier. And yeah, there's more hills further ahead and you got to keep putting in the work so it's not a free ride once you get to the top of the hill but it does give you a little break as you start to learn um what you need to do um <clears throat> we talked about uh one of my past videos about the bridge out in the hamptons that i used to have to get off my bike and walk and now i can ride up it in high speed because my legs are trained um from riding so much that i'm able to ride up the hill without stopping and uh again that comes back to life you know, as we learn our, our tasks, we learn our jobs, we learn our relationships, we build our relationships, we build our businesses. Um, if we do it right and we put in the work, they will um, become natural, uh, become second nature, and uh, it just gets easier. So uh, if you start dieting, you know, the first week's probably the hardest, and then you get used to eating the right stuff, and you get used to the new lifestyle of eating properly. And it just gets easier to make the right choices. If you go to the gym, it's hard getting out of bed that first week, two weeks when everything hurts. Um, you know, you don't want to do it, but you get through those first two weeks of going to the gym and working out. And uh, it stops hurting so bad. And uh, it gets easier. It becomes more natural. It just becomes part of your regular routine. Um, if you stop drinking, if someone that drinks every day, um, I know a lot of people do 75 hard. Um, you know, they say like the first two weeks of not drinking, you know, you got the craving to go drink. Um, but after that, it becomes more natural. Um, 75 hard, phase one, you take cold showers. It's part of the routine, five minute cold showers. I'll tell you those first couple cold showers, man, they, they hurt. But um, as you got later on in the program, it's not so bad. Um, that first minute's hard. The second, third, fourth, fifth minute of that cold shower isn't so bad. So um, so my, my message today is put in the work, do what you got to do because it will get easier if you put in the work and you stick to task and you stay on target um eventually it gets easier life will get easier for you 
Now, I'm not saying it's going to stay easy forever. Obviously, you start going to the gym and you get used to the routine and then you add more weight and it's going to hurt again. So, uh, you know, it's never, never a free ride, but it definitely does get easier if you keep committed to the work and you keep doing what you got to do. Uh, I'm up here this morning riding again on my son's bike, uh, half my size. And uh, luckily, uh, the rain is kind of subsiding. It rained all night heavy. And, um, yep, we dance in the rain so that when the uh, sunshine comes out and the sky turns blue. Looks like it's starting to turn blue a little bit here. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. And um, we do the work so that we can enjoy the sunshine days. So that's the message for today. Um, just keep riding uphill, keep pedaling, keep pedaling, keep pedaling, because it'll get easier once you get to the apex of the hill of life, of business, of relationships. Um, you know, lay the groundwork, build the foundation, and uh, it'll become natural. All right, so that said, let's jump into prayers. We got to get going. I got to get home to uh, reality. Um, all right, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, please look over all my friends that are watching right now, and all the friends out there in the world that are uh, doing, uh, doing what they need to do in life. Um, it's real easy to make excuses. It's real easy to uh, say you can't. Uh, it's real easy to you know, not do what you got to do, not put in the work to uh, surrender to the force of average. So please help the people in my life uh, not surrender to the force of average, to be great, to be the best versions of themselves, uh, to give back to the world. Uh, it's important that we all give back to the world. If you can help someone in the world, help them. Uh, I hope that these videos are helping you. Um, it's helping me keep stay accountable. Um, and I'm just hoping that um, I can help you uh, better your lives. If anyone ever needs anything, I'm here for you. Whether it's life, business, relationship, whatever, whatever's going on in your life, I'm here for you. I'm happy to talk. Uh, no, uh, no questions asked, no judgment, just, just a friend to talk to. Sometimes we need that in our lives. Um, please jump in the comments and uh, let me know what's going on in your life. Let me know how your weekend was. Let me know what you got going on this week. Um, let me know what wins you got going on. We need to celebrate our wins in lives because that makes us want to keep winning. So, uh, all right, everyone. Get out there. Get some stuff done this week. It's Monday. It's a brand new week. Make it count. Uh, do big things. And uh, ride at dawn. We will see you tomorrow. Uh, I'm back riding out of Malvern tomorrow, 6 a.m. And we're live here somewhere between 6.30, 6.40. And uh, we're getting it done. Ride at dawn. Today is day 49. 49. 49 days in a row of riding. So, yes, Kev. We're back on my son's bike again because I got to get tubes for uh, the other bikes up here. So, yeah, that's fun. But, um... Oh, Ernie's there. Ernie, you gonna come ride with me? So, all right, everyone, have a great morning, and we will see you tomorrow. God bless.